Hey, what's up everybody? Clayton here with Go Analytics, and today I wanna to show you how to create a shape map visual in Power BI. But not just any shape map visual, we're talking about a world shape map visual, which is a little bit trickier than a normal shape map, but we're gonna show you how to do that right now. So let's get started. Hey, welcome to our YouTube channel. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications to stay up to date on all of our latest videos. All right, before we start today's video, we wanted to talk about something that's really exciting to us. For the first time ever this year, we're hosting a dashboard in a day workshop. So this is going to be a live online event taking place on June 3rd and you don't want to miss out. This is a great opportunity to build a portfolio dashboard in one day. So we're going to take you all the way from connecting to data and preparing that data for analysis, data modeling, DAX measures, data visualization, best practices, all in one day. So you don't want to miss that out. So we're going to be putting the link to the registration in the description. Uh, so be sure to check that out. And uh, the last thing is, we have an early bird pricing right now up until April 30th, so you might wanna take advantage of that. So with all that in mind, let's get started with today's video. All right, so in today's video, we're talking about how to create a world shape map. So the shape map is a visual in Power BI that is still in preview mode. So you're going to have to check that out first, uh, but on top of that, it does have an additional complication when you're trying to create a world map. So some of the maps are already built in, like the United States, Canada, Brazil, those are in there already. But if you're looking for a world map, it is not there and you're going to need to use a custom shape map. So with all that talking, let's head on over to my laptop and I'll show you how to do all of that. All right, here we are in Power BI Desktop. And if you're looking to create a visual that looks something like this, which is a world map in a shape style of a map uh, that visualizes some data across the world, then I'll show you how to do that right now. The first thing you need to do is to enable the shape map visual if you haven't done this already. So this is a preview feature. So if you haven't done this already, you're going to go to the file here and select options and options here. Then you'll want to navigate down to the preview features section here and make sure that your shape map visual is checked off. So this will enable you to select the shape map visual from Power BI. So once you do this and click OK, then you're going to need to restart your instance of Power BI desktop before that change takes effect. All right, so once you've restarted your Power BI desktop, then you'll be able to see the shape map visual. So it'll show up right next to the field map. So this one right here would be your shape map visual. So I'm going to open a new page here just to show you what that looks like. So we can go ahead and bring in our shape map and I'll expand it the entire size of the page here. So as you can see, we have a spot here to put in our location and the measure that we want to use for color saturation as well as any type of legend that we might want to apply here. So in my data set here I have a country column that I want to add in. So here's what happens when I first throw that in it defaults to the map of the United States and Let's go into the formatting options here and we'll see why that happens. So under map settings here, you'll notice that the map type that's been selected is USA states. If I click uh, the down arrow here to see which maps I can use, 
you'll notice that I can uh, use the filled states for uh, Australia, for Austria, Brazil, Canada, all of these countries, but not a world map. So if we're trying to create a map of the world, we will need to choose custom map. So before we do that though, we need to have a file that is the shapes of the, the countries that we want to use here as a custom map. So you can do that by going to websites and getting that. So I'm going to open up here my browser And one of the websites that we can use to get that map visual is uh, Natural Earth Data. So when you search for that, you'll see that it's the first one on Google and it allows you to download maps. So you can go over to downloads and you will want to select the map that makes sense for you. So there's different options that you can select here uh, based on scale. So if you want something that's very detailed, then the, the one to 10 ratio might be a good one. Uh, for our purposes here, we can just download this one to 50 and I'll select a cultural map. There's different uh, styles here. And then what we want to do is just hit download countries. When we do that, you'll notice that it opened a, it downloaded a zip file with all of the mapping files in here. And this is great, uh, but we still have one more step, which is to convert these files into a topo JSON file that can be read in Power BI. So to get that file, or to convert the map files that we just downloaded into a topo JSON, we can use a website such as mapshaper.org. And you'll notice here that it allows you to drop, paste, or select files to import, and then you can convert it to different shape files. So I'm going to go ahead and click select, and then select that zip file that we just downloaded. So here's that file that I just downloaded. And once I upload that entire folder, you'll notice that our map has been created here, which does provide quite a, enough detail for what we're trying to do. So once we're done with that, all we have to do is go to export and select the file format that we want. So in our case here, we want a topo JSON so we can hit export. And again, that's going to go into my downloads folder. So now we're ready to use that file in Power BI. So let's head back over to Power BI. So back here in Power BI, now we can select custom map from our map type. And then under add map type, we can browse for that file. So I just have to come in here into my downloads folder, which is where I exported that file, select the appropriate file, and then hit open. So now we'll see that our map file has converted to a world map, which is great. And uh, within here, we have a couple different options that we can apply. We can change the, the map projection. So we have three different uh, ways to show this one. We can sure show it um, on this style uh, or orthographic as well. If you wanted to, to take a look at the world uh, in that manner. Um, and, and then all you have to do is play around with some of the settings, some of the fill colors uh, and make it look exactly how you want it to look. Um, so now if I wanted to add in our world population here for the color saturation, we can do that. And there we go. Now we start to get a little bit of uh, insights into this map and we could add legends, we could add tool tips, all sorts of things um, that we can do with this map, including editing how it looks. So if we go back to our format here now, we can see that um, 
we have it set up as a gradient and we could change these colors. We can change how we show blank areas so we can select a specific color or not show them at all. So if I don't want to show Antarctica, for example, I might want to turn that off and eliminate that from our, our chart here. We can also change the border color. So the border around countries, uh, if I wanted to have a white um, border color, I could do that as well. So it's very flexible. So all you have to remember is that you have to turn it on from the features that's from the preview features and then you have to download your world map from a website such as uh, natural earth data for example and then convert that file into a topo json which can be imported into power bi and there you have it now you have a world shape map in power bi so that's it that's how you can create a world shape map in Power BI. Hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and we'll see you in the next video.